After we had Imlet here last year, um, I got asked a number of questions about the tank arrival and the brake van I had running around behind every train that ran. It's running behind me now. Uh, and the answer was quite simple. Um, to try and keep the track as consistent throughout the whole weekend as possible, uh, that tanker I made to be greaser onto the rails. That's a track cleaning wagon, really. And when I was designing it and making it, I'd already made the, the laureate that 17B miniatures um, produce. I, I bought it as a kit and, and made it up myself. Um, and I was trying to think, right, we want a track cleaner. And what what do you really need from a track cleaner? I've seen a lot of people try and do stuff with brushes and scrapers and, and all sorts of things. Anything you do that's abrasive is always going to wear out either the brushes or the track or, or both. So the way I thought about it, seemed, my theory was, what do you really need when you want to try and degrease things? And my, to me, the solution was you want a degreasing medium and you want to agitate it. For example, if you were degreasing something with just a, a cloth or a brush, you do some degreasing, just agitate it until it until it um, cleans up. So I figured if you just drip the degreaser onto the rail and let the wheels passing over it do the agitation, that would be your best best chance of success really and I made this wagon I'll show you a bit more detail about it in a second but I made the wagon and the first time I used it I was running around with uh, my dad's five inch sterling single uh, small driving trolley and um, my breaker wagons with the, the tanker as the first wagon and I ran round and, and after about the first lap or two it does get more slippery. I'm not going to say it doesn't, it cleans up straight away. It gets more slippery for the first couple of laps. But after that it cleans up, try to start to see a clean line appear on the top of the rail. And lap after lap that line got wider and wider. It changes if you're using dirty wheels that are running on it in the first place. But but yeah, that's that's the basis of it. So now I'll I'll show you the way. The tanker, which I pulled behind, is full of a biodegradable degreaser. And there's a pipe on each side of the loco, which I can adjust the flow rate of individually. And also with the first valve I could shut it off completely to both sides. Now I have actually made a second tanker as well with the intention being that when I'm running a train with the, the two tankers the second one can just drip water at the back thereby flushing off that sort of residue on the surface um, but I haven't got it with me today unfortunately. The thing is ultimately my experience is that running a wet rail really doesn't give a problem to adhesion. What gives a problem is a wet rail and greasy rail. So if you keep the deep greaser running throughout the day, the, yes the rail gets wet, but if you've got rid of the grease that's underneath the water, you'll get good grip. I mean with my engine I've, I've pushed this around before, so I'm pushing the deep greasing wagon and pulling a double trolley full of passengers and I've not got any trouble and I'm directly on the, on the wet rail. All it does do is it helps clean all the wheels of, of the loco and the trolley and everything else that's running on it. All the while there's wet deep greasers sitting on the rails then the subsequent wheels running over it 
will clean themselves as well as the trolley. As well as the track, sorry. It's the worst thing, it's to go around cleaning the track, then you chuck some dirty trolleys over it and, and you're back to square one again. So if you're running through the day, you can clean up all your all your rolling stuff at the same time as cleaning the track. So yeah. I think it's a success. Like I say, it is not an instant solution to to adhesion. If you're running through the day and it's a hot day and you're all starting to come out of the track or you, or you get a light bit of rain and it starts to get really slippery because the rail's dirty, what you want to do is you chuck some sand down and that will give you instant grip. But sand will also get into bearings and, and ev everything else so you run that risk as well. But sand will give you instant traction, cleaning the track, Long -term track. I, just, we like, I like to try and clean the track every couple of months or something. Or if you notice it's starting to get slippery on a hot or wet, slightly wet day, go around, clean the track, and then uh, it should stay clean and, and grippy for, for a little while. You can see quite a difference between the three and a half that's not getting touched and the two five inch rails. But although it's wet, get below the surface, below the water, and that is clean rail underneath. Same over there.